Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Motion video. So today I have something a little bit different for you guys. I normally don't record team race videos as much because it's kind of repetitive. You guys know the event, how it goes, of course. But today I wanted to make this video because the race just ended or I guess it's coming to an end. And we already finished our lap goal and I actually beat my personal record, which is actually pretty cool. So I'm going to show you guys how many points I actually got. And this was actually my first race as well with first class team. So I hope you guys are still pretty this video. If you are, smash like button, subscribe, channel to keep on. Anyways, let's go on and get started. All right, guys. So let me tell you this once again, I was very unprepared for this race and right now I have 191 gems I'm gonna go ahead and explain basically everything that happened throughout this race um, So this was actually um, my first race once again with first class This is a new team that I joined it was like a week ago or two I joined this team and um, I did leave team Spirit 2015 for those of you that are just like a returning subscriber um, So yeah, just catching you guys up. I am in first class and I actually ended up with 60k points I thought I had like 59 point something K. Oh cool. I guess we reached a 60k K points that's cool um so yeah first place debbie 142,852 points and then it's me 60,334 then there's bunky with 54,378 and so on basically you guys can see everyone else is in here as well the rest of the members right um so i ended up getting 60 60,000 which is actually quite a lot um i beat my personal record for race uh for the future what i was thinking was once i'm prepared I can probably aim for like at least a hundred thousand points or more um that will be the goal for like one of my future races i'm not sure if it's gonna be the next one or one of the future ones but yeah um we'll, we'll have to see uh, i have to be prepared for it though i can finally collect my gold just like this without having to worry about race honestly <laughs> this kind of bothered me so many times like i um used to like tap on my gold collect all and then i noticed i'm like oh no and then i quickly close my game and even i reopen it it doesn't change anything it already collected everything so i was like oh my gosh it happened multiple times which was super annoying so here's the here's the story i had about 300 ish gems in the beginning when i started i got to like around 15k points close to 20k with basically all those gems i only had like two left um and then later on i was forced to actually do a task in monster wood which actually paid me like a thousand gems yeah it was around a thousand gems and then later on i needed more gems because those gems went all the way down so i was like oh no i need more right so how about the team and so i ended up purchasing a couple of packs <laughs> so it was an expensive week i've got to say but i definitely enjoyed racing of course and Beating my personal record though, which is cool. Uh, so we're going to be getting basically this rank 4 steel car, guys. Uh, because of 85 laps. And it'll also give us a permanent avatar for the steel car, which I'm never going to use. Um, permanent avatar for Ursus. I do like this avatar, it looks kind of cool. But besides that, marathon key with the 5x mess free chest. Um, but there's nothing really special with the chest, honestly. Position rewards, 480 cells. This is basically for the teams if i'm not mistaken yep so first team will be getting 600 cells we get 480 and then individual rewards i get 5 million food 100 cells and i also get this temporarily silver frame that's cool maybe i'll run that i don't know i do like my bronze one at the moment that i'm running on voltaic um so in terms of food my food was around 1.6 billion maybe more than that actually and now it's at 1.46 billion um gold wise i i mean i didn't really do much with gold honestly but gems i spent a couple thousand gems for this race which was a lot um looks like team wars just started as well i hope i set up my team i mean it doesn't really matter as much because it's just a random team not an elite war so we're fine yep i set up my team cool but yeah guys getting back to you guys so in terms of cells right some of you guys are probably wondering how many cells did you start off with let me go ahead and actually go over this so for common monsters for firestar Here's, here's the thing, to be honest with you guys, I only had like 500 or 600, that was literally all I had for Firestar. Uh, Thunder Eagle, still the same, I didn't use a single Thunder Eagle cell, so it was basically 267 out of 150. Um, for trees that I don't, I don't really use trees art in any of them, and the rest of them I don't really use. Firestar I do use though. For Uncommon, this is what I use the most, okay? So for Pterodactyl, I had about 1700, that's literally all I had. Uh, Green Asar, I had like... 500 or 400 um fire kong fire kong i did have about 1700 i did use it a little bit but uh i use green sword the most and pterodactyl so yeah for rare monsters let me tell you this where's my panicin for panicin i have 600 1600 cells 
I don't think I used Panda again. Maybe I did for a couple of rain cups, but that was just for DYP. So I had about, let's say, 2,000-ish cells for Panikin, which was pretty bad, right? I mean, that 1,600 isn't looking good either right now. So, yeah, that's how much I had. For Friedel, I had about 1,000. Less than that, actually. For Epic Monsters, I had many, actually, for Epic Monsters, but, um, I mean, they're still here, as you guys can see. You know? They're all in here. Um, but, yeah, I did use them for Epic Rank Ups. For Legendary, I did rank up a bunch of legendary monsters and there's so much more um but yeah i was really lacking on cells in terms of cells that's why i had to spend so many gems uh most of them i just had to like for example when there was a pterodactyl uh for example joint effort right fred what i had to do was go first extract cells fred because i have so many in here that i don't have extracted i you know categorize it like this and just look for it and then i like start extracting it like this Cost me three gems, and I had to do it multiple times for every single one of those notes that happened uh, while I was online. And I had to keep on doing that, and then once I got the cells, go ahead and rank them up from here, you know what I mean? Like this. So, and then speeding it up, gems here and there, so it was a lot. Um, I did uh, skip many notes as well, which was whatever. Um, but what I feel like what took lots of my gems were these monsters right here, the shock turtles. Shock Turtles and Koopigs. I, I got so many Koopigs. I got so many Shock Turtles. It was just insane. Um, so definitely prepare yourself for lots of these guys. Make sure you have lots of gems for them. So look at this. You'll Basically, take a look at my breeding log throughout this race, by the way. Um, you can actually see the time as well for it, by the way. So two hours ago, this was for a race. Two hours ago, two hours ago. And we're just going to keep going, right? Take a look at all the things that I bred, right? Every single one of these. So many uncommons, so many common monsters for a race. Um, and then it doesn't show you the rest of them, but this was just for the past 21 hours. Um, so in total, I have about 10,451 total breedings. I don't know how much I had before, but I bred quite a lot of monsters and oh man, it was painful. Um, what also took a lot of my gems were, even though I had my breeding guardian active, right now it's, it's out of, it, it, it ran out, right? It's on cooldown. But even though I had it active, what took lots of gems were these monsters right here, the fire conks. I kept repeating it over and over again. It kept giving me uh, Friedel's and stuff like that over and over again. Um, and even though it was like 35 seconds for some of those notes, I wanted to get it done quicker. So what I did was I just kept like jamming it back to back, um, even though it was on like 35 seconds or so. Uh, this also took a lot of gems, um, not too many, not as much as the breeding one, but it did take some gems. Um, and also, yeah, because I just needed it for, you know, uh, those collecting food joint efforts and stuff like that. And that's what I needed it for, you know what I mean? So that was helpful there. Um, but other than that, Legends Pass was a huge help, I've got to say. So if you are, you know, planning on joining like a uh, elite team or elite race team, then what I recommend doing is definitely purchasing yourself the pass because that really helps out a lot. The first one or two days, I didn't have the pass with me. So I didn't have access to those, um, what was it, the hatching boosts and stuff like that? Is that what they call it? Let me see. Yeah, the hatching time boost, I didn't have access to that. And also the extracting time boost, I didn't have access to that. So uh, the first two days, I didn't really have access to that. So it kind of sucked. But after I got that, it helped a bit. Um, saved me some gems, probably like a couple hundred gems the most. Um, but... Yeah, it was a it was a fun race, I've got to say. Will I go for this many points again? Yeah, of course. I mean, why not? It's just that I have to be prepared next time because this time I wasn't really prepared and I somehow got 60,000 points, which I wasn't expecting. Um, but we ended up with 85 laps today, which was cool. And um, I'm not going to do this. Somebody's actually doing the joint efforts. But yeah, whoever needs points to go for it. <laughs> I don't really want it. Um, but it was a it was a cool experience, you know. Um, I'm really bad at team race, I've got to say. To be honest with you guys, I'm really bad. Um, this race, I actually kind of nailed it, I've got to say. I did pretty well. And so you guys are probably wondering, um, why did you go for 85 laps? Why did you decide to go for 85 laps? Was the monster good? Yes, this monster is actually not that bad. I do like it. I think it's decent. Um, take a look at the traits. The traits, I'm not really a huge fan of it, besides this precision, the true vision, right? Uh, status caster. This is cool, but these two, I'm not really a huge fan of them. You know, Immune to Sun, I mean, come on. That could have been Immune to Control. That would have been better, right? But Hardens there, it's whatever. Status caster, True Vision, that's good. Um, so you can basically use this monster. So it's a, it's a decent one, I've got to say. You can make some nice plays with it. Um, and it's, it is in the C book. C and Winter. Look at that. So it can come in handy in some of those Elite Team Wars. Um, so that's why we kind of went, like, went for it, I guess. Um... But yeah, the monster was worth it, I've got to say. Soon I'll, soon I'll be doing a review on it, by the way. So make sure you are subscribed if you aren't already. 
But that's going to be pretty much it, guys. Thank you all so much for watching today's Monster Gens Team Race video. If you guys want more Team Race videos in the near future, drop a like, subscribe to the channel with your son. And same thing, same rule applies if you guys want me to go for 100k uh, points for one of the future races. But thank you all so much for watching today's video. Drop a like once again if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel with your son. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.